So when we were talking about cryptocurrency yesterday, I was saying, obviously, governments like the United States government, especially under the Biden administration, don't like cryptocurrency because it gives people an alternative currency that's not issued by the U.S. government. A currency that's issued by the, by the U.S. government or any government, the government has some sort of control of. And I said, that's why we should absolutely reject a digital currency issued by the U.S. Fed. We don't want a government-run cryptocurrency that defeats the purpose of competing, essentially, with the government-issued paper currency, the U.S. dollar. Well, in the U.K. right now, there's a headline about a debate that's happening in Britain about whether a possible state-sponsored cryptocurrency, they too have not formally introduced one, they're just talking about it, whether it should be programmed. Now, what does this mean, programmed? Programmed means exactly what we were talking about yesterday, that the government might decide, well, with this central bank digital currency is what they're calling it in Britain. With this central bank digital currency, um, the government could decide what you're allowed to purchase. They could prohibit you from purchasing certain items. They could earmark cri this cryptocurrency to allow you to only purchase certain items of certain prices or um, all, ki all kinds of possibilities. I mean, this could be as much as age related. This could be, I guess this could be political related. This is an entire apparatus of control from that's being debated. It's not law yet because it's not a thing yet in the UK. It's just funny because we discussed this in a hypothetical sense yesterday. And then today we're seeing it in real life. We're seeing that this is happening. This is very, very important for conservatives to understand that if we want to win, if we want to defeat radical leftist efforts, whether it's on the cultural level, whether it's the legal level, whether it's in monetary policy, we actually can't wait for the left to wage their attack against us. We have to anticipate their attack like this. We anticipate what will happen if a government issues cryptocurrency. We anticipate the control the government will enact over us if they program if they program a digital currency so that you can only buy what they want you to buy and they can prohibit you from buying what they don't want you to buy. We know the kind of societal control that they will that they will impose over us if we don't stop it. So if we conservatives actually want to win these battles, we have to stop this before it becomes reality. Because once it's reality, it's a lot harder to get it to go away. I mean, it's the same thing as diabetes or another health-related issue that is very, very highly correlated to weight. You can treat it once it happens, but it's a lot harder to treat once it's already manifested. But if you act preventatively, then you could prevent it from ever happening in the first place. And that's the best thing that you can do. Again, I thought that this was ironic because what we were talking about hypothetically yesterday is happening. The debate is happening in real life in the UK. And this is a flag, a signal for all of us to stop this before it actually happens.